Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today I'm going to talk to you about CC Cycle 2, Week 21, Hands-On Science Experiment. And this is coming from our Foundations Guide on page 197. Kind of gives you just some basic guidelines to, to follow for our experiment this week, which is tower construction. And so these last six weeks of our school year, we're not in the Van Cleves anymore. We're focusing on uh, we're building and constructing things and we're engineers these last six weeks. So last time we did the straw bridge uh, building and now we're going to talk about doing building towers and using straws and our tape to build um, the tallest tower. So this is a good time to bring in some pictures of some towers, um, whether that's a library book or just some pictures from the internet. Um, Nicole Liam has or her science script and you get on CC connected and she's got some pictures of some of the tallest buildings in the world. So um, I'm just start thinking, you know, who's seen a tower and who has been to the top of a tower? And does anyone know what the tallest tower in the world is or the tallest tower in the United States? And so that's something you can look up beforehand so you have the answer. Um, and so just observing, you know, these are skyscrapers, it's a type of tower, and just um, observe, what do they observe about them? And so a lot of these, you'll notice that, you know, especially this tallest one, it's wider at the base and skinnier at the top. And um, talk about how that makes the building more stable. So talk about, um, you know, is the building being made in a place where there are earthquakes and the ground is going to be moving how can we build you know, engineers have to think about how can we build a structure so that it doesn't fall over in an earthquake or is there going to be a lot of wind um, especially as you get really high there's going to be a lot of wind that may blow on your building you don't want your building to blow over it's like we don't want our straw towers to blow over so how do engineers um, design these so that they don't fall over. So some of the ways that they do that is, you know, we talked about uh, center of gravity a few weeks ago, and so the center of gravity has to be lower on the building. And that's why, you know, it's bigger, bigger at the bottom than at the top, because you want more of your mass to be lower to the ground. And that's going to help it be more stable. Um, sometimes if you have a wider base, that can make it more stable. And some buildings are even designed so that their their base is under the ground and that helps make it a lot more stable too. So um, the students will get their supplies, their straws and tape, and they will work in teams, whether that's, you know, a pairs, pair them up in your class or um, combine classes and have groups that are gonna be building towers together and see who can build the tallest tower. And you can bring those to week 24 when you have um, your big testing day for everything that, that we've built. See whose is the tallest tower. Um, another interesting thing is, uh, you know, as technology has advanced, we have new materials that we can build uh, these towers out of these skyscrapers. You know, used to it was just, you know, maybe mud bricks or wood, um, but now we have you know, steel and we have composites that can make our buildings even flexible. And ask, you know, why would we want a building to be flexible? Um, you know, it could be really rigid um, and just doesn't move at all. Or it can, it can kind of move a little bit. Um, you think about like a tree. So did God create trees to just, you know, stay rigid and still when the wind blows around them. No, he designed, he created them so they'd be kind of flexible and move in the wind. And so engineers have come up with these materials that can also bend and flex a little bit in the wind, but not break. And so you'll see those um, in some of these newer construction uh, towers that, you know, they've discovered it. So it's actually kind of good for a building to be able to sway a little bit. Um, they have materials that allow it to do so without breaking. So that's pretty cool. Um, have fun with this week. That's um, just a short explanation. And, and like we talked about um, with the with the bridge, uh, you know, have them experiment, you know, with different shapes too as they're building up 
the sides and the walls. You know, is it better just to build a tower with one straw on top of the other? Is that gonna, you know, is it gonna wanna fall over? Is it gonna be very stable? Um, or do you incorporate shapes like triangles or, or squares? And we talked about in the last one about why a triangle is a stronger shape than, um, than a square. It's actually um, more stable as well. So um, it'll be fun to see what they come up with. And so have fun with this experiment. I'll see you guys soon.